Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your weekly read. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius from the 1st to the 7th. But because time is linear and the date is just, you know, a contingency, when you come across it is when you're meant to see it. So a big shout out to everybody. Since nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius and I love you. All right, here we go. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for the higher good, and I do mean the higher good, of the collective of Sagittarius. So, Sag, I hope everybody's okay. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Here we go. Tell me Sagittarius, please. We're starting already with the flippers. But guess what? I didn't see them flip, so they're staying in the deck. You're starting out with the Page of Pentacles. So there's something new starting in your life here. It could be some kind of a new business adventure, right? Maybe a new job. This could be coming after a period of uh, some kind of destitution or being left out in the cold, financial trouble. The Five of Pentacles talks about, uh, you know, loss, hardship. So, obviously, you, this is a new start for somebody. All right? That's excellent. Show me what's at the uh, foundation, please. What's at the foundation of this situation? Please and thank you. What's at the foundation of the situation? Okay. There we go. Okay, this could have had something to do with your past or somebody from your past. You could be feeling very nostalgic right now. Maybe having memories. Or, it, or because of somebody from your past, either they left you out in the cold and you're starting over, or they put you in some kind of financial hardship and you're starting over. You do have a page of swords watching you. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is somebody younger, somebody who's really nosy. You know, um, yeah. The page of swords is somebody who's very curious, vigilant, and collecting information for whatever reasons they want it for. Um, coming in, though, what you don't see is the sun. The happiest card in the deck. So that's Leo energy, right? So that means that there's, you know, positivity and freedom and success and optimism and happiness. Something could be being illuminated to you. So let's see what this is. What's the supporter for that sun? What's the supporter for that sun, please and thank you? Is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Well, the King of Pentacles in reverse could be somebody who's um it could be somebody who's corrupt. Financially, you know, having problems <laughs> in a lot of ways. Uh it could be somebody who's definitely um greedy, possessive, obsessed with wealth, they waste. They lie. They could even steal. So maybe somebody wants to steal your sunshine here. Steal your happiness. You have a knight of pentacles in your environment. Um, so this is somebody who's actually very sturdy, very uh, grounded, very reliable, very resourceful. It's trustworthy. You could be, like I said, starting some kind of a new financial endeavor here. This is making the plans to make the you know endeavor. And these are getting into the first steps of actually doing it. So, like, the beginning and then, like, this also could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus in your environment that's maybe interested in you coming in, right? Coming in the horse to offer you their pentacle. Let's see what the advice from Spirit is, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. Okay, so here we go. You do have some kind of a thief, liar. Be careful of people trying to do anything that's premeditative. This is my premeditation card, right? Look at this satiated son of a bitch is what I'm going to call him. This is, I mean, he's happy with the with the uh, nefarious shit that he's trying to pull. Now, that's going to be different for everybody. Whether it's stealing, lying, trying to do things behind your back. You know, it's getting away with something. All right? So be careful. And like I just said, this could be somebody trying to steal your happiness and your sunshine. So there you go. Also, you have a Knight of Swords as the most likely outcome. So this is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. This could be you getting out of Dodge, just, you know, moving forward quickly, 
uh, in whatever direction you're headed to make your pentacles either grow or quickly forwardly moving away from somebody from the past who did something nefarious to you. Some kind of king of pentacles in reverse. Like I said, a Virgo Capricorn Taurus who's uh, financially unstable, unreliable, a liar. They couldn't have possibly have Leo in their chart. There could be a Leo coming for you. Well, you could be illuminated about this king of pentacles who's probably putting on a front, acting like, they, oh, look at this. You got the star, <clears throat> Aquarius energy. This gives you hope for the future. The star talks about, you know, brilliance and happiness and creativity and contentment and renewal and serenity. So, you know, this also could be a gift from the divine. Some of you might be seen in the public eye. Let's clarify this and see where this is going. I would be careful about somebody trying to steal your happiness, though, okay? And maybe this happiness is coming in on the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be another Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus that's interested in you. Or, like I said, this could be you. Maybe you've started some kind of a new financial, <clears throat> even emotional situation where you're coming out of the cold here, right? And somebody's not liking it. Somebody from the past is not liking it. They're watching you. They're watching you become successful and happy here. So, of course, they want to come in and ruin it, right? What else is new? Misery loves company, right? Here we go. One more. Thank you. Sagittarius, please. Show me Sagittarius. Thank you. Here we go. Show me the page of pentacles. What is this doing here? Somebody younger, you could be getting a message. Somebody's grounded. It's the sun in reverse, huh? Mink. Okay, well, with the sun in reverse, we're talking about um, a lack of enthusiasm, some kind of blocked happiness, maybe a, an excessive feeling of entitlement, pessimism, Leo energy. So maybe you started something new and you're not very enthusiastic about it. You're not sure if it's going to work or not. And whether that's financial or emotional, you know, like I said, it's going to be different for everybody. Let's see what the sun is doing in reverse here. Okay, my cards are up, right? You have a seven of pentacles in reverse. This is not something that you want to invest your effort in, right? Seven of pentacles upright is talking about investing your effort. Seven of pentacles in reverse is a lack of a long-term vision. It's being impatient. It's setbacks. It's a waste. It's like procrastination. Something crazy is going on with the dogs outside. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You also have the high priestess in reverse. This is Pisces energy. This is not using your intuition. Um, the high priestess in reverse is somebody who, who may have hidden motives. They could be confused. It could be some kind of a level of superficiality. Um, but like I said, mostly just not using their intuition. They're keeping secrets, right? Um, wow, I'm sorry about the dogs, guys. They'll stop in a minute. It's the garbage men. They don't like them. Okay. Two of Pentacles in reverse. See, he told you they'd stop. Two of Pentacles in reverse is some kind of imbalance. It's being, it's over committing yourself and then being overwhelmed because you did so. It's um, being unorganized and chaotic, not finding yourself on level ground. You do have the hangman upright. The hangman is also Pisces energy. So there's a lot of Pisces down here on the board. Uh, the hangman could be a feeling of being trapped or isolated. It's uncertainty. And again, a lack of some kind of direction, maybe, maybe needing to release or let go of something. It's trying to see things from other points of view. And you have the chariot in reverse, which talks about, um, oh my God, again, a lack of direction, no control, powerless. So a lot of you really just don't know what you want or where you want to go or, you know. Maybe you, hadn't had, you don't know how to get something accomplished to get this, maybe if it's a business adventure or something off the ground in the right way to get yourself out of that lack of poverty or poverty mindset. Why is this chariot here in reverse? The chariot is also cancer energy, right? I told you that. Hangman is Pisces. We know that the sun is Leo. What else do we have? Okay, let's see. Thank you. Thank you, ancestors. The Queen of Cups in reverse. So the Queen of Cups in reverse, this is like the stepmom from hell. I tell you all the time, right? This is not a very nurturing person. This is somebody who's cold. They're a backstabber. They're untrustworthy. They're fraudulent. The Queen of Cups in reverse is somebody who's, you know, they're cold hearted. They could be overly sensitive, self-centered, self-centered, and very insecure. 
So not, not very supportive, not very affectionate, not very loving. Let me just make sure I'm in the upright here because I don't know. Let me make sure if they come out in reverse, that's the way they're supposed to be. So something's going to be happening very quickly. This is fast forward movement with the Eight of Wands. Something, either information's going to be traveling uh, back and forth fast, some kind of communication, maybe going to visit somebody, somebody coming to visit you. But the Eight of Wands in and of itself speaks of th rapid forward movement active swift activity so whatever that is in your life it's going to be different now you also have a seven of cups here seven of cups talks about um you know it does talk about having options but it's also wishful thinking it's too many choices right and so it's also a part of being very discerning because you just don't want to go pick any cup you know what if you pick the cup with the dragon or the snake in it you're not it's not the cup you're going to want so you don't want to be like a kid in a candy store just grabbing at cups just because you can have them you're actually taking the time to look and see what cups are going to be most beneficial to you. So now let's see where we're going here with this page of swords that wants to be nosy with the emperor in reverse. Hmm. The emperor in reverse is somebody who's very unreliable. They abuse their power. They're excessively controlling, stubborn. Could be a tyrant. There also could be a lack of discipline there. It is Aries energy. All right. So maybe somebody's watching you, you know, just be... I don't want to say lose your shit, but crazy, like just being completely irresponsible and uh, not getting things done. Maybe, like I said, abusing whatever power you have, being like a tyrant. So somebody could be watching you do that. Or you could be watching somebody behave in that manner. Aries energy, right? One more on this emperor. Give me one more on this emperor in reverse, please. <clears throat> please and thank you. Can I please have one more on the Emperor? Thank you. The Magician. Okay, so there could be a Gemini around you as well. Or somebody that has Gemini and Aries in their chart. Okay? This is a... Now, who's the Magician? The Magician is the Master Manipulator. And we say that because no matter what the Magician has in front of them, and even though they have all four elements, everything they need, they make things happen. Okay? They can manipulate any situation to their benefit and their higher good. It could also be somebody who plays tricks on you too. So maybe this Page of Swords watching you is... You know, looking to play some kind of trick on you. Or you can try to be manifesting things in a positive direction. Away from that poverty and away from this emperor that's in reverse. Let's move down to the sun. The good thing is you got the sun coming in that you don't see upright. So there is happiness coming. It's right there. Oh, it could be happiness and love. Got Gemini energy again. So there's going to be some kind of a choice you have to make. Maybe about being in a relationship. It could be about being in a relationship with a Gemini or a Leo here, okay? That's a good card, the lovers, right? But it is a choice you're going to have to make. And it's not like a little choice, like, oh, you know, what color underwear am I going to put on today? It's a choice, a life choice. So it would definitely be about whether or not you want to be in a relationship. It would be about something that's uh, that could be very inspiring, give you some hope for the future. The problem is we hope that it's not with this King of Pentacles in reverse because this, you know, this would be a criminal-minded, broke-ass player. <laughs> I gotta be honest, you know, <laughs> here we go. All right, let's see what this love is. What's this Gemini energy? So you got Gemini twice here, so somebody definitely has a lot of Gemini, Aries, Leo, like I said. Oh, and Temperance. So this is Sagittarius now. This is tempering your emotions. This is my one of my cards of self-control. It's an inner calm and an inner zen. It's having complete self-control over yourself to the point where nobody could even antagonize you into a fight. Because you, you know, you tell them just to go and fight with themselves. So you don't even bother to tell them. You probably just smile on their face and walk away. So you might have some kind of a choice to make over Sagittarius. Or you might really be trying to make a choice orally, or like I said, of not losing your cool or losing your shit over somebody that might be, uh, you know, in reverse over here. So let's say, hold on. You know that the... Court cards of people, right? So that King of Pentacles is a Virgo Capricorn of Taurus that could be in your energy. Unless it's you still having financial difficulties. If you are, I don't know. A lot of us are out in the world today. Don't feel bad. It's a terrible, terrible, terrible place, this world today. <clears throat> whatever it is, or whatever, whatever is going on here, somebody is definitely trying to either steal your happiness, like I said, steal your money, make sure you don't get any money, if you are starting to recover from some kind of... Well, and if it's love, they don't want to see you have that either. You know, misery loves company, right? 
Give me a card on the temperance, please, today. And thank you. We'll take them both. Okay. So, again, the Knight of Pentacles. This is twice now. So, like I said, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. This could be somebody coming in. They're offering you a pentacle. Now, the pentacle could be love. The pentacle could be some kind of a new job. A new kind of financial endeavor that you've started. And uh, you have the world in reverse. The world in reverse talks about a lack of achievement or a lack of success. There could be some kind of stagnation in that. Maybe it's not moving as quickly as you would like it. Maybe something's incomplete. Maybe you started something here and, you know, there was some finishing touches that you neglected to add on. So um, it's not that the world is not going to turn in your favor. It's just that it's kind of stagnated right now, right? Let's see. Show me. Show me what we're doing here. What's going on over here? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Clean ground. Okay, great. Okay, so there is a new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles talks about a new beginning, usually financially. Usually it's like a financial new beginning. But whether it's an emotional relationship or financial, it is a new beginning. And it is something that's going to bring you a lot of contentment. And some of you, another group of you, could be getting some good news. Whatever this is, you might have to move away for some kind of a new job here, Okay. Because that's what this is looking like. If there's some kind of a new financial um, opportunity for you, you might be moving away. You know, we got the Six of Swords here. The Six of Swords talks about transition. The Six of Swords talks about um, putting distance or, you know, a departure, moving on, accepting your lessons and, you know, going someplace where there's no aggravation, no drama, stuff like that. Okay. So you could be actually getting some kind of a job opportunity here. That's, uh, maybe it's coming in a little slow. Maybe it's not going to move as fast as you quick as you would like to. But it is a new opportunity, a new beginning, and you might have to be moving away. It could even be overseas, for some of you. Or at least over a river or something. Different state, maybe, you know. Show me. Show me, please, and thank you. Can I see what that Six of Swords is doing here? Give me one card on it. Yeah, let's go. Thank you. We'll take it. The Page of Cups. So somebody is, you're definitely going to get some good news or a message, okay? I mean, and also with the Six of Pentacles here. That's what the Page of Cups is. The Page of Cups talks about good news and message. It's Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. That fish represents some kind of an abundance, right? There's something in the cup. Um, so there is going to be some kind of good news or a message that you're going to get. It could be that, you know, it's innocent. It's not anything nefarious. The Page of Cups would not be. It would be somebody younger and naive and, you know, with a big heart. So maybe somebody who's innocently trying to help you. And maybe by that, it's get you out of where you are to someplace else where there's calmer waters and some kind of a new beginning for you. Okay, Maybe where you are right now is not the best place for you. Maybe because you got the Seven of Swords guy. Look at this guy's face. Uh, look at this face. Can you see that? It's like the, the most... I, like, I just really don't advocate violence, but boy, would I like to smack that face. <laughs> Seven different ways. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show him what to do with those swords. Yeah. You'll never be the same again. Trust me. You know, it's not so much even that, that he's doing rotten things. Right? It's, it's the face on him. Like, he's happy about what he's doing. Like, somebody's taking pleasure in trying to ruin whatever happiness or whatever recovery, whether it's financial or emotional here, that you're achieving for yourself. And you're manifesting, you know, maybe you're manifesting new love. And you're, and you're patiently waiting over here for a new beginning of some sort. And then here's this guy. Or girl. But it's a guy here. But you know what I mean. I'm jealous, envious, no good, son of a bitch. That's just what it comes down to. Okay, so yeah, what I just tell you, you're gonna, huh, thank you, spirit and ancestors. I love you for my gift. I'm truly grateful. Um, good news or a message about some kind of a new leap of faith. Take the leap of faith. Aries energy. Take the leap of faith. Do you hear me? Try. There's no harm in trying and failing. The harm is not even trying at all. And then after the, the, the period comes where you don't have the opportunity to take that leap of faith, you may look back one day and be very regretful that you did. And let me just tell you something. In life, there's a lot of things. One of the worst things is to have regret, especially that you didn't even try something. You know, try it. 
If you fail, you just learned how not to do something. But you're not going to fail. Look at all that sunshine. This is a leap into a new life. And this is the message that you're going to get. Some kind of, oh, and I'm itching. Whoop, there goes the nose. So I'm telling you right now, Sagittarius, this leap of faith for this new beginning here. See, this Ace of Pentacles is going to be the best thing for you. And you're going to get away from this no good. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know. I'm not liking this guy at all. I never liked this guy when he was. I love this deck of cards here with the artwork, but this one particular card, oh boy, does it make me angry. Okay, so now you got strength in reverse. So again, with the Leo energy, this must have something to do with the Leo, or you have Leo highly aspected in your chart and Gemini, but strength in reverse, you know, this is vulnerability. So you may be feeling a little vulnerable about taking this leap of faith. Um, this is also a lack of confidence. I'm not going to say it's cowardice. I'm just going to say it's like it's not having faith in yourself, okay? Um, not feeling like you have the control over yourself to handle whatever this new leap of faith is. But believe me, you do. Just, you know, face your fears. What do I tell you all the time? Fear. Face everything and run or face everything and rise. So just face it and try to rise. There's nothing to be fearful of ever, really, ever. Because once you understand something, then you're not fearful of it anymore, right? What we fear in life is what we don't understand, Okay, so once you, that's why you have to understand that you run straight at your fear and you'll conquer it every time. I promise you. Look, you got this freaking seven of swords again. So here you go. You have a reciprocated offer of emotions on the table. This means you and somebody else feel the same way about each other. Now, whether, or, sorry, my nose, whether or not that's um, emotional, which it looks like, or just friendship, you and somebody else have mutual feelings for each other. There's going to be an end here, the death, the end of something, so that something new could begin. And what it's going to be the end of is this no good son of a bitch here, because he's back. Look, he's back over here in this one now. So who was ever robbing from you, lying to you, stealing from you, making you feel insecure and doubtful about yourself, you know, there's a coming, there's an end to that. That one's getting kicked to the curb. Don't let the door hit them in the ass on the way out. Do, do yourself a favor. You got this new offer of you know, a reciprocated emotion, all right? So it's not unrequited. This is going to be requited. Also, this is the card, um, and we do not give out medical advice here. Just like I'm not a teacher, I'm trying to teach a tarot, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor. But what I will tell you is that that's the medical symbol for me. So maybe it's just time to do a drive-by and wave at the doctor and make sure everybody's okay, you know? Make sure, you know, everything's working, everything's in working order. Take it or leave it. It's up to you, right? Free will. Now we got this Knight of Swords. So if this Knight of Swords is somebody, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who rushes in and gets what they want, okay? So if this is not somebody coming at you for something that they want, and this is not a committal energy, so it's not going to be like, let's get married and stay together for the next 80 years. It's going to be like, let's have fun for a little while, and then I'm on my way. Swords is air. Air needs to circulate so it doesn't stay. Or you aggressively going after something you want. This could also be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, like I said, coming in to offer you some kind of a, an emotion. After the end of getting rid of this lying, no good, you know, Leo in reverse. Somebody who's weak and, and you know, it could have been somebody that had Leo in their chart that was just completely, you know, they had no self-confidence. They were very egotistical. A very weak-minded, you know, like a cowardice, feeling inadequate about themselves. Let's see what we have here. Oh, nice. Okay, so now you got the star, but it's in reverse. So the star in reverse, you know, this could be a lack of faith or a lack of uh, inspiration. Maybe um, maybe you're feeling a little hopeless in a situation. You're thinking it's not going to work because maybe it didn't work. Something didn't work in the past. Maybe you're a little fearful of getting into that um, lack mindset again, whether it was financial or emotional, we don't know. But there is a king of pentacles here. So Virgo Capricorn and Taurus. Now he's in the upright, okay? So before he wasn't. But this king of pentacles, this is somebody who's um, very financially secure. They are intelligent. They are hardworking, confident, well-prepared, abundant, um, reliable, sturdy, responsible. So that's a very good energy, all right? Maybe some of you with the star are, are in reverse here, are feeling hopeless, like you'll never become this king of pentacles. You'll never achieve financial security. But that's not true. You will. It's just, you know, it's just maybe some kind of, like, a, you know, lack of inspiration to try to achieve this. If this isn't you or if this is somebody coming at you. This is also, you know, you got a two of swords here. So this is something you don't want to see. The two of swords talks about a difficult choice that has to be made. Maybe some kind of denial that you could be in or, um, you know, maybe feeling like you're stuck in the middle of some kind of a situation. The four of 
Pentacles did come out in reverse with that. So uh, in reverse, the Four of Pentacles is maybe being overly generous, okay, or reckless with your money, um, overspending, you know, just giving too much. So be very careful. Maybe you're not seeing that you're being too generous to somebody, okay? Or maybe somebody's not seeing that they're being too generous to you. But either way, you know, try to hold on to what you have. And it's not about being stingy. It's just about self-preservation, right? If you don't worry about yourself first, who's going to come in and worry about you? You also have the hermit, Virgo energy. This means that it's time to do some introspection and self-reflection. Maybe go into solitude, away from people and places and things for a little while. And do some soul searching and find your own inner guidance and follow it. Because you are, you do have a lot of hope for the future here, okay? So let's get our kippers out. We're keeping them short this week. Let's see. Okay, kipper, give it to me for Sagittarius, please. What's going on with Sagittarius, please? Thank you. Oh, yeah, so here you go again with the lovers. Gemini energy, 15 or 6. So there is some kind of romantic relationship that you probably have to make a choice about, but there is some kind of choice that has to be made somewhere in your life. It could be whether or not you're going to take the leap of faith or not, because you don't seem to have the courage to do it with self-confidence. It's looking here like maybe you don't have the self-confidence to do this. So you really should, though. Uh, just be careful of anybody trying to get away with anything. But if they are, it's the end of them. It's the end of them trying to get away with something. So um, they could be trying to take away your happiness, like I said. And they're coming in to take away this reciprocated offer of emotions, maybe try to ruin it for you. Misery loves company, is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's see what we have here. It could be, oh, again, we got the death. Really went on to me. Somebody could be passing away. You got the 19, or no, 9 and 1 is 10, which is the end. Um, my guides are very clear with Kipper. You know, we read Kipper a very certain way around here that this is an actual funeral, okay? This is, you know, somebody being laid out in a, in a coffin. You see the difference between this death card and the coffin card, which is supposed to be the same thing? This guy's, you know, the Grim Reaper riding on a horse. Not everybody's actually dead, okay? Um, it's just a change. See the sun in the back coming out? So it's a change. It's the ending of this going into something, you know, different, a new chapter of your life. Over here, it's the end. A lot of morta. That's how you say it in Italian. The end, right? It's somebody's funeral. So a lot of you could be attending some kind of a wake or a funeral, in which case, you know, Delilah, Tiberius, and I send you our hugs and our deepest condolences, especially this time of the year. So like I said, 19 or 10, 15 or 6. Let's see what we have. We also, oh, yeah. Well, somebody's somebody could be concerned, and it could be about a lot of different things, maybe about somebody's health here. So that's uh, 33 or 6. They're so concerned that they're, they're getting white hair here. You also have 24 or 6. There's a thief or, well, we know that already, right? And I'm going to say that I always tell you that there's always more than one person working together. The, the people in cahoots. This one's going to distract you with, you know, the cleavage. This poor guy can't help but look. It's just a man. This one's picking out of the pocket. And look what you have here. You have not one, but the seven of swords clarified the seven of swords. So there's two people around you, maybe working together, you know, trying to pull some nefarious shit on you, whether they're robbing from you because it's a thief or whatever they're trying to do here. Maybe that's why you were in some kind of financial, um, you know, void here. If that's what, if that, if that story, if that part of the story is yours, because you, you know, you had thieves around you robbing you. So now you got adjudication, which is good, because I told you they were going to get caught, right? There was going to be an end to it. So uh, this could be a divorce. This could be some kind of a court case. It could be so much as a parking ticket or, you know, it doesn't have to be anything so detrimental, but you got number 30, some kind of a court situation. Hopefully it's the thief getting caught and going to jail. Let's, let's you know, yeah, the end of it, period. So, and there's some kind of community involved here, 39 or 12. So this could be any kind of a community. Um, it could be, the, you know, the church community, community at work, community which you live in, community of maybe something you're interested in, you know, some kind of neighborhood. And also, you have 35 or 8. There is a new pathway opening up to somebody. So if you were in some kind of um, shadow period in your life or some kind of, a, you know, a dark time, now there is a path being illuminated to you out to the happiest card in the deck, the sun out there. And these butterflies represent birth and renewal, right? They just came out of their cocoon state, which would have been that dark area. And now they have a whole new 
I'm hearing a whole new world, <laughs> okay? Now, the numerology we have here is three, 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 three. So you got five threes that you might want to go put into Google if you care. Oh, look, another one, sex. Marriage. This could involve a marriage at the bottom of the card. So three is a very significant number. You could put in three threes, four threes, five threes, whatever you want. See what kind of an angel code you get from that, yeah? Okay, let's do um, this new beautiful Angels Eight Oracles. We'll get you some letters. <clears throat> Please and thank you, man. I have some Angel Gate Oracles for Sagittarius. Thank you. Please and thank you. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so you got 51 of six. The peaceful warrior walks with many above the roar of the storm, confidently in command. Yeah, that's right, because they know what they could do, so they don't have to do anything. All right, 44 or eight. You are always surrounded with love and light. You are safe. And then you have 32, which is also five. Your perception is your reality. You have the power to change it at any moment. Let me just see if any more want to come out. I'm going to throw down a few letters because those are always so much fun. Although I don't like the message I was getting yesterday. Okay, at the bottom of the deck here, you have 42 or 6. Angel conversationalist. This is who you are. The world needs to hear your voice. And you have 53 or 8, which is love all that you encounter. We are the same from one we come and shall return. Right? So that's excellent. That happens to be my favorite card. Because it reminds me of King Kong, who I absolutely love, right? Okay, here's letters. Now, this is people, places, and things. But we're not playing the Wheel of Fortune here. So, you know, uh, you know how when you're watching that game, you're screaming at the person about, like, what the word is? Because they can't actually see it as well as you could. I'm getting Codex. Codex. Isn't that some kind of, um, I don't know, some kind of a book or something? Um, or Dex? Dexter, Cody. Okay. We got Rit. Rick. Rick, for sure. It could be Rice as well. Um, an X. What did I say? Dex, right? I told you Dex. Dexter. Um, got two X's. That's crazy. That never happened yet. So there's a T. There's a Ted. There's Destiny or Dist. Sid. Oh, no. There's also Tad. Tad, right? Okay. Hold on. Let's get these all turned over and see what we have. <clears throat> I'm hearing Tori. I'm hearing Dakota. I'm hearing Detroit. Data. Some kind of data. There's some kind of data involved here. Pat. Yeah, Pat. There could be, somebody could be set in some kind of a trap. We did say that, right? So be careful of that. Um, I don't know. be some kind of a sex thing going on around here. Clear on ground. I'm hearing Dole, like Dole bananas. I'm also hearing Dubai. I don't know. Dubai. I've got London. I'm hearing London, France, something, underpants. I don't know. Oh, my God. Kentucky. We have Kentucky. Something about a lion. Maybe there's Leo, like I said, involved in this. Or loins. Some of these loins. You have koi. Or koi. Also sky. Look at that. But like sky like that. You also have ends. So I'm Connecticut. I don't know why I'm hearing Montreal. Denver. Mindy. I got Mindy. I have Iowa. I'm hearing Iowa. I'm hearing I'm hearing written written house. Written why would I hear written house? I don't even watch the news. Here we got uh, something's going to be fixed for somebody. Some, somebody's got some kind of a situation where they need to have something fixed. 
it's getting fixed. Okay, whatever that is, it could be the car, it could be, it could be some kind of trap. There is some kind of trap going on around here. Somebody's trying to trap somebody into something. Be careful, wear condoms. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. You got a row or a rosy. There's also, yeah, like I said, Troy, Danny. I got a Danny here. Also a Donnie. Um, my Louisiana, I did say that. I'm hearing Lear, Learville, Linksville, in, in XS. Maybe some of you like in XS, the group. Kinky, some of you could be kinky. Some of you could like mink. I'm hearing mink, minks. Um, let's see. There we go, guys. I don't know what you're saying, but these U's are difficult. I'm hearing Lou, L O U, Lou, Lewis. We have a Lewis. There could be a Lewis involved in this. Um, yeah. Rue or Rui. Dominic, I'm getting Dominic. I'm also getting, um, Donnell, Donnell, is that a name? Dory, I know that is. I did say Kentucky. Minnesota again. Okay, I'm hearing Crumbsville. Is there a place called Crumbsville anywhere in the world? Because I don't know about that. Um, Fila. So that reminds me of Greece. Like a feel of dough. Um, let me see here. Oh, Jesus. Trunk. We have a trunk. So... I hope this isn't going. Jesus Christ, where it went yesterday. It was so bad. A sex trunk. Coil, recoil. I'm using recoil. What? Please don't give me any bad messages. I don't like them. It screws up my whole damn day. Hmm. Somebody might try to dominate somebody sexually. Maybe somebody's going to get put in a trunk. Or there's going to be somebody putting... Oh, I'm getting a vision. I'm also getting Delilah, which I know is obvious, but the dog. But this is, something's going to be very sour. Bittersweet, I'm hearing. Okay? And also, there could be some kind of sex crime going, out, going on. Like, it's the holiday, so this is what I want to tell you. While you're coming out of the stores with all your crack for everybody... Make sure that you're looking around and paying attention and staying very vigilant that somebody's not trying to, like, you know, grab you or uh, do some kind of thing. Throw your, you know, you're putting your stuff in the trunk. Maybe try to, you know, just do anything at all. They could be watching you. They're going to try to dominate you, obviously, here. So this is like four. These are a lot of warnings I'm getting lately. I don't like them. They make me feel nauseous, Okay. So just please all be careful. I'm hearing ye or you, okay, and yen. I'm hearing yen. So that's what, Chinese money? I'm also hearing pie, the life of pie. Punk, I'm getting punk. So it could be some kind of punk pulling some kind of shit on somebody. Punk trying to put somebody in the trunk. Oh God, I got life here. Watch out. Be careful with your wives, life. And they could be getting life in prison for something they did really bad. Some kind of sex crime. That, that, hmm. Whatever it is, there's maybe some kind of sourness going on here. Sour. Something could be sour. Be careful what you're eating. Um, so, and somebody's definitely telling some kind of lie here. You see this? Or they lied about something. Okay. I'm also hearing Corey. Corey. Some kind of cord. Oh, Jesus. Be careful of any kind of cords that somebody might want to try to tie you up. Listen, I, you know, I don't like to give these messages. This makes me sick. I like to try to keep it upright. Even when I see bad messages, I try to change them around, which I shouldn't do. Um, but I don't want to give anybody, uh, yeah. 
So I'm men. I'm hearing men. Like this is like or mine. Like some kind of mine or a miner. This could have something to do with a miner. Maybe somebody's trying to grab miners. I don't know. If you read something like that, and I don't watch the news, so I don't want to know. You know what I mean? It's all a bunch of bullshit and lies and, and makes you kind of... But it does have something with some kind of sex here. And it could have something to do with a minor, okay? And a trunk. And it could be some kind of a punk doing this, and it's sour. So just be careful. There's some kind of cords involved to this. So this could also just be like, you know, cords like family attachments and whatnot. This is an E here. Oh, gee. All right, well, you know, yeah. Yuli, I'm getting Yuli, like Yuli. Maybe Yule, Yuletide, Yuletide. It could be Christmas is coming, right? Kinson, Kin, Kin, Kinson, Kinson. Wasn't that some kind of a comedian that passed away a long time ago? Kinson, I don't know. And Paul, I'm getting a Paul here, P A. Yeah, P-A-U-L. We got Paul. Paulian. I'm hearing Ryan. But not Ryan like R-Y-O-N. Like Ryan like Reno, Nevada. Here, I got Reno. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do. Yeah, Reno, Nevada. All right, everybody. There's your letters. There it is for this week. We love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. It's free. It's fun. It's entertainment purposes only. And it's very, very much appreciated. Until next time, always lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy because it is an illusion. And trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.